Yeah, Wall Street, really? In the newspaper, I heard about diversification. But what is diversification anyway? Diversification is investing money in different things instead of investing all of your money in just one or two things. But why do I need diversification? You need diversification to reduce the risk of losing money or getting negative returns. Well, who needs to diversify? All investors should diversify. Remember the old saying: "Don't put all your eggs in one basket." If I want to diversify, what factors should I consider? One factor that you should consider is asset class. You should generally spread your investments among stocks, fixed income, cash equivalents, real estate, etc. Another factor to consider is geography. You should divide your investments among U.S. developed markets, U.S., Europe, Australia, etc., and emerging markets, China, India, Brazil, etc. One more factor to consider is tax. Whenever possible, you should try to make tax-advantaged investments with pre-tax money like a 401k or with post-tax money like a Roth IRA. You can also make non-tax-advantaged investments like a regular brokerage account. One more factor that you should consider is liquidity. You should spread your investments between liquid assets like cash or money market securities and not-so-liquid assets like CDs or certificates of deposit and real estate. But when we say diversification, the most important factor is investing in different asset classes. Well, why do I need to diversify across asset classes? You need to diversify across different asset classes because things within an asset class generally show very similar risk and returns, but different asset classes have different risks and returns. When you invest your money in different asset classes, even if one asset class does not perform well, another asset class is likely to make up for the loss. This means that over time, your overall return would fluctuate less and would be more predictable. Can you give me an example of that happening? Sure. If you have one thousand dollars to invest, you can invest seventy-five percent, or seven hundred fifty dollars, in stocks, and twenty-five percent, or two hundred fifty dollars, in fixed income. This way, if stocks perform well, the bulk of your portfolio gets a great return. But if stocks do not perform too well, you still get a predictable return from your fixed income investment. Well, is this proportion of seventy-five and twenty-five percent the same for everyone at all ages? No. I will cover that in detail when we talk about asset allocation, but that's a topic for another time. Thank you very much for telling me about diversification, Wall Street Willie. You're welcome, Super Cooper. Remember, finance is your friend. Hey, on people! If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like, share, and subscribe for more easy pieces of finance.